Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about Taki Udon's alternate DE10 Nano and Mr. FPGA handheld, another alternate DE10 Nano by QM Tech that's available now, Sinden light gun support on Mr. and more. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Addons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, IO boards, accessories, and more. Now let's get to the news. Version 1.3 of the alternate DE10 Nano and updated USB board have been shown off by Taki Uda. The female header between USB-C and USB-A carries power and data between both boards, so no extra adapter is needed for USB communication between the USB hub and FPGA board. Pre-orders are not being taken yet, but ordering will begin on July 14th. If you're curious about using a current 5 volt USB hub, here's what Taki says about them. Use your existing hub and choose your adventure. Manually wire the header or use a USB-A to micro adapter and supply external power to your hub with DC slash USB power. Taki also finished stress testing for the alternate DE10 Nano board. It is now ready for mass production. We also got updates to the AMOLED Mr. Handheld that's in development. Two designs were made and the Plant A 3D model did not meet expectations, so it's being redesigned. The 3D model for the Plan B design is looking awesome, but still needs some minor changes. If the redesigned Plan A still doesn't meet expectations, Taki says that Plan B is a good alternative. Some more info on the B design was also given. This design will have the ability to be easily adapted to mirror retro aesthetics from older systems that it can run. The post shows aesthetic designs for PS1, Super NES, NES, and Mega Drive, but we're not going to be limited to only using those designs. This is a really cool feature, and I would personally love to have Super NES and Sega Genesis themed handhelds. The handheld will also have an HDMI port and expansion port for a dock. For battery life, Taki says it's hard to estimate without the custom board that this needs. He wants a minimum of around 4 hours with the biggest system that this can run, which will be Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, and PlayStation 1. At the Too Many Games conference, Attract17 and Promote spoke about their experiences with FPGA development. The panel talks about the development of several cores like Twin Cobra and Flying Shark. Twin Cobra was being shown off running on a Mr. FPGA and was mentioned that Twin Cobra is fully playable now and Flying Shark needs to be finished up. The panel also spoke about FPGA development for the Midway RK systems and the challenges it posed on the Mr. FPGA. The panel is available to be viewed on YouTube, but you can see the NARC specific portion on a Mars FPGA Twitter post. Another alternate DE10 Nano board that's being created by QM Tech was shown off connected to a 4.3 inch TFT LCD and running the Mr. FPGA software and the PlayStation Core. The board can be ordered now and is ready for shipment. It was also confirmed that if you take your current Mr. FPGA SD card and insert it onto this board, it will work without any modifications. SD RAM modules are also confirmed to be working. The board is $99 on AliExpress, but I'm still unsure on how it will fit with the many Mr. FPGA cases already out there. I've already ordered one of these boards, so I'll be able to give my findings when it arrives. There is a new test build for Mr. Main that fixes an outstanding input issue. With this new test build, an issue where multiple buttons bound to the same thing will cancel each other out is now fixed. Ranny Snice released a new wallpaper themed after the Konami shooter Gradius. You can obtain this wallpaper and all of other Ranny's wallpapers by enabling them in the update all script settings. The Sinden light gun is a light gun that can work on any modern television. However, to get it to work on the Mr. FPGA, you used to need a cumbersome setup that also requires the use of a Raspberry Pi. Not anymore now, because the creators of the Sinden light gun have demonstrated a driver to make the light gun work directly with the Mr. FPGA. At the moment, only four cores work, the Super NES, Genesis, NES, and PlayStation cores. They forked special cores for each of these systems that make use of the driver. If you want to see the light gun being demonstrated, they posted two videos on YouTube showing it in action with the Mr. FPGA and how to set it up. The next version of Tab2 will be including a new generic serial driver. 
With this driver, you will be able to use any NFC chip or microcontroller, and it will work seamlessly with Tab2 with the correct firmware. If you're unfamiliar with the Tab2 project, it is a project that allows you to launch games using NFC cards. Wizzle has confirmed that Tab2 is working on Mystex. There were a couple of changes that needed to be made, but for the most part, it was a drop-in replacement. A later post then tells us that Tab2 is now fully compatible on Mystex. If you do not know what Mystex is, it is a fork of Mister that gets cores working on other FPGA boards besides the DE10 Nano. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Please also try to support Source, the maintainer of the Mister project, and other Mister developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. Also, make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.